friends of the good sound and welcome yeah to a new video here on my channel Florian and the Audifal Path and yeah now in English actually I'm sitting at home it's yeah half past eight yeah I'm now heading to Munich to the high end 2023 let's go sitting in the Mercedes we are on the highway to Munich and yeah actually in a accident and so we have a stop on the highway yeah and I'm traveling with Uwe Kupal from EDC Klassen hi hello hi Florian yeah Uwe um, I have one short question what are your expectations on the high end this year for me the high end is uh, very important to meet friends from the industry, our partners from the industry, we are working together, meet some new guys, I don't know now, who will it be, I don't know, and uh, yeah, see some new products and um, probably get some new products on board in our portfolio. Yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah. And always having a good, great time. And huh? having a great time in a beer garden and uh, drinking the best beer in Germany. Yeah, that's right. Okay, perfect. Thank you. finally arrived in Munich. Yeah, first I got all of my stuff and my equipment and I carried everything to the booths of Audi Reference. Yeah, of course, Audi Reference had two really big booths this year in the atrium. Really great, stunning, but more about this later. Yeah, and after I got my stuff out of my hands, I went to OMA, Oswald's Mill Audio. Yeah, so now I'm landed in Munich at the high end, Wednesday evening, and first I will have a look at Oswald's Mill. Very important. Hey, what's up? No, nah, come on, hi. Cool. Nice to meet you, Joe. Good to see you again, man. Yeah, great. Yeah, you look good. <laughs> Looking fine. Excellent. Cool. Uh, Oswald? Oh yes. Yeah, perfect. You're, you're at the right place at the right time. Yeah, I think so. Huh? <laughs> After the really great show last year, they yeah came back to Munich this year also, but with a very specific concept. It was more or less a place to just relax, drink something, and having a good time while listening great music. And of course, at the booth of OMA, there was always great music. Not the normal, yeah, audiophile shit, sorry. It was just music and it was really great. Actually, I'm hall number one. And yeah, as you can see, the companies finalize their stands, doing the last cuts for tomorrow, <laughs> looking a bit, um, yeah, confusing actually, that tomorrow starts here the show, but yeah, tomorrow we will see. <laughs> and then I found the booth of Torrance. Now I can see the expedition stand of Torrance and I see the new reference and just look on my face. 
crazy. This thing is not it's not from this earth, not from this planet. It's amazing. Crazy. Damn it. So the new torrent reference is a very specific turntable, of course. It's a development together with Zeismion. And Zeismion is a company well known for their active vibration control. Because normally they develop and producing bases for microscopes, for example, for the industries to avoid vibrations coming from the outside to the microscopes. And also Seismion developed bases for audio equipment. And this technology now comes into the torrents. So the Seismion technology, and by the way, it's working like noise cancelling from headphones, is now implemented into the torrents and specific for the torrents. For example, if you live in a really tall or high house, for example in Hong Kong, Bangkok or something, or in New York, everything is moving. And when you have something like an active vibration control, the influence from the outside is much lower or nearly zero. Yeah, and that was my Wednesday from the high end. I fell into bed and went sleeping. Yeah. Yesterday, yeah, I was really, really tired. So I just had a pizza after the show. And yeah, so that's why I didn't film anything. I was so happy just falling in bed. Yeah, and now the next morning, feeling great. The show starts in an hour and a few minutes. Actually, a friend of mine, Kelvin, joined me. And yeah, we had a great breakfast and now we are heading to the show. And then the high end started and my first meeting was with Luxman. I think everybody knows Luxman. And I did a video together with them for the channel of Howard Neller, the listening chair. At the listening chair is now a video online about Luxman, the new products. Yeah, a bit of covering the room, maybe enjoy later. Then at 11 o'clock, the high end started with the press conference and from the directions Jürgen Tim and Stefan Dreischärf introduced the high end a little bit about the topics so for example this year a big focus was on the clever concept concept it's a concept for a complete audio systems for a budget up to 5000 euros and that's the limit and also about the best hi-fi dealers in Germany and a little bit of targets for the next years, some numbers and so on, statistics. And then finally they introduced the new phase for the high-end 2023 and it was Aldi Miola himself. I think everybody who's listening to music and is a little bit into the audiophile game should really know Friday night in San Francisco. During the first day I spent a lot of time at Audio Reference because I had to film a campaign for Audio Reference and the partners and later the day in the afternoon there was an event with Aldi Miola and Aldi Miola as you can see, enjoyed it a lot to listen his music over the Wilson Audio Chronosonics XYX. It's a really specific module because it's the four season Thunder series in the winter edition. 
It was powered by, as you can see, Dan D'Agostino, DCS and VPI. But the focus was this time on vinyl. Matt Weisfield from VPI introduced us to the different versions of Aldemiola's Friday night in San Francisco. And so we had a really great chance to compare the different versions of this album and they sound really different. Okay, now I got Aldi Miola, the face of the high end 2023 in front of the camera. <laughs> so amazing because, yeah, you, yeah, I listened so many times to you and I love your songs. So, um, the first question is, uh, what is your own most favorite song you most love? Of, of this record? Yeah, or, or in some. Of all, all songs? Yeah. Of mine oh. or anyone? No, of you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> It's, it's hard to say. I usually am favoring uh, something new that I'm working on. You know? So I have a, a new double record, of old studio record, of old originals, and uh, I have a couple of favorites off the new one. Yeah. Okay. So your last album. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I always like my head is keyed into that one. You know. Okay. Yeah. Really nice. I'm really proud of uh, how how the evolution of the writing has gone. Yeah, okay. And this is going all the way back to 1980. What I get from this is just pure like passion and energy, that youthful energy. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. We're all in our 20s there, so. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh, holy, I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay, so, and the second and last question is, what do you think about hi-fi? What's your opinion of, or maybe about high-end? What do you think about what it? I, what's not to like about it? It's, 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 it's phenomenal, and you don't get to hear that much high, high fidelity. Anymore. For me, I'm a traveling musician, so it's really hard to get these opportunities. Yes. So over the years, I've acquired a lot of my music on my phone, and I was in the headphones, and I have the speakers. So, but this reminds me of a time, I mean, not, not this kind of high end, but there was a time when I was very selective about my speakers and amplifiers. I was really anal about every little thing. Great, okay. And I miss those days. I miss, because there are no stores like that. Yet. Yeah, okay, I understand. Very yeah. high end. Yeah. Is it either very high end or really low. Okay. <laughs> very few in the middle. Yeah, okay. But I'm glad, I'm glad this market still exists. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Very okay, much. thank you. Then in the evening, I had last but not least an interview with OMA, so with Jonathan Weiss himself, the CEO and head behind Oswald's Mill Audio. And we talked about a lot about his past, so the beginning of OMA and also about the new K5 turntable. It's the little brother of the K3 and the engineer behind the K5 was also on board. Finally the first day is done, um, as you can see. Most of the people are gone. Um, I had not much time to do vlogging because there are so many, oh, so many different jobs I have to do actually and uh, yeah, hopefully tomorrow and the next days I have more time for the vlogging part. <laughs> yeah. So the first day is done so far. Now starts the yeah, funny part, I think. Yeah, it's the funny part. Come on guys, let's go. Nice. Yeah, so through LinkedIn. Right <laughs> Finally we stopped by at the beer garden and meeting the rest. Hopefully. Hey guys! Hey! 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 the guys from Silbertown, for example, and Chris Bayer. Chris Bayer was, as usually, the organizer of this small event, and also some really great people from Germany joined. So, for example, Thomas Schick. 
from the Chic Tone Arm, Christoph Kraus from Silvercore and Mr. Michael Ulbrich from the Consolidated Audio Transformers. So on some we had great food, great drinks, great beer, great conversations. Yeah, come on. It was about audio. And yeah, we just had a good had a really great time and that was in some the first day. Friday started for me and also for Kelvin with a visit at the booth of Audio Group Denmark and we did a coverage also for the channel of Howard, the listening chair. And I talked a lot with Michael Burrison about the new M series and also about the M3 loudspeaker. Fleming Rasmussen also joined Audio Group Denmark and it's yeah, the founder of Griffin. And I think everybody knows Griffin. And also another point for Audio Group Denmark. On every hi-fi fair in their booth is always great music. And it's always very specific music. So every time I went into their rooms, I take my phone, I open Shazam and have a new song for a playlist. Because they have a really specific taste for music, but it's always something you, you never heard before and it's always really great music. So it's very dynamic, colorful and yeah, it just sounds great. In some, it's always really great to come into the room of Audio Group Denmark. to have some new information about the newest products. The focus of audio reference was not just stereo, also multi-channel audio. So for example, cinemas was also a really big topic this year. And that's why they implemented a full cinema. Yes, of course, a full cinema with a really big Baco projector into one of those cinemas with Velodyne subwoofers, Pelissen speakers and also with a receiver from Storm Audio. And then nearly end of the day, because I spent further time at Audio Reference for the campaign, I yeah, walked through the halls, so in the lower levels, and I stepped by at the booth of Audio Group Denmark. And yeah, they had in some free booths, I think I didn't say it before, in one of the booths they had an entry level system. Yeah, of course, entry level, but give me a second. Audio Group Denmark released a new company and the company is named Forti. Forti delivering budget amps with clay D modules for a really great price point. And also within this room was the new X3 speaker for 10 grand. And in sum, this combination was outstanding. And then it was nearly six o'clock. So day number two came to an end and we were invited to a dinner with Audio Group Denmark then. So Calvin and myself drove into the city or more or less we tried because it was very difficult because the labor union started a strike this day. So no train was driving and yeah, but we had the chance to take the bus and after a few stops and different buses we finally arrived.
guys. <laughs>
at the high end. And I think it's very interesting because the speaker itself is a system, as I said, 1926, so nearly 100 years old. But I also think the amplification, of course, was really great from Silvertone. And the front end, the turntables of Mr. Schick and Mr. Schroeder did a great job. And also the choice of great music. So it was also no audiophile, blah, blah, blah. It was just music like Led Zeppelin and so on. As usually, Cavero and Ripsilon did a really great job. So I think I don't have to say more, just well done. And many other people said the same. Yeah, then I think the biggest system at the high end was from ESD. ESD is a company from China. And I also think it was the system with the biggest price point. It had a really huge sound, but in my opinion, the stage was not really great. So yeah, it was a really great sound, it was a huge sound, but the stage, yeah, it was okay, but not great. But I also heard that it was really important to have the right seat. So maybe I was not on the right seat. And yes, of course, it was a system for 3.6 million dollars. But it's also possible to buy the same system for just 1 million. So the 2.6 million was just for the finish because a really famous artist from China did the the keyring and the structure at the components and the horns. So that's why this system was so expensive. Also very specific, but great as usually was MBL with their Radialstrahler. The Radialstrahler is a concept where the sound is beamed by 360 degrees into the room. And I think there are just two possible cases. Case number one, you hate it, or case number two, you love it. Last but not least, the room of Facemation and Wolf von Langer. Also really great, and Facemation presented new amplifiers, and as you can see, they were huge. So huge tubes, huge amps for those yeah, tiny speakers. Uh, for this room, but it was a really great sound and it was together with the new Yuki turntable, in my opinion, in design, stunning and also the ideas who influenced the design of the turntables. So the technical specs are really impressive and really clever, but maybe more about this turntable in another video. One second, I was really shocked in the room of Facemation because when one of the guys of Facemation changed the music, so they changed the vinyl on the Yuki, he cleaned the new Facemation PP5000 cartridge and it's cartridge for 15 or 16,000 euros. He just cleaned the needle with his finger so and i was just oh my gosh crazy okay and shame on me i forgot one company to cover and this is arias serrat and stavros he is the owner of arias serrat did a really great job for my taste and in my own opinion was the best sound in terms of naturalness to find at the high end at Arias Serrat. And then finally the Saturday was also done and yeah of course we went into the beer garden and we met Mr. Schick, Mr. Schröder, Mr. Ulbrich from Consolidated and we also met the faces behind 
Martian Audio. And Martian Audio is also an interesting company and they had a room across the street, so not on the high end, it was a room across the street and I heard different people saying, yeah, the best sound at the high end was across the street. And then the last day started, the Sunday. In the morning I had a meeting with Esoteric first and later with Piega also to cover the rooms for Howard. So there are also videos online on his channel, The Listening Chair. I think I said it already two times. <laughs> Come on, yeah. But Pega and Esoteric is also on board. And very interesting was the following. So you had the chance to listen to Wilson audio speakers in several rooms. And expect from the audio reference room, because there was a Chronosonic XVX, was, yeah, mostly the sound with Wilson Audio good, but not great. But in several rooms, it was gorgeous. And also in the room of Esoteric with Sasha Diary. Yeah, of course, you have also the room and different models of Wilson Audio. But in my opinion, the sound of a Wilson Audio is normally the same. And it's just about the electronics you use in combination with them. And in the room with Esoteric and Wilson Audio Sasha Diary, it was really great. It was great sound. There was precision timing. It was just on the point. It was just great. Really great. Also, at the booth of Piga, there was not the top of the line speaker, there was the second biggest module for in Europe 75,000 euros. The award for the best concept and design this year goes definitely to Avant Garde Acoustic. Yeah, of course, Avant Garde Acoustic. Because they presented a new series, the Colibri series to the public. This concept is really stunning because it's a combination of satellites, so just two-way speakers, in combination with an 18-inch subwoofer. So yeah, you can listen really loud, really good music. You can use this speaker everywhere so the design is really great you have several finishes you can use the system as a mono system also possible to use just the satellites or um, the satellites plus a woofer or maybe i don't know if stereo is not enough you can also have a home cinema with them and the interesting point is the price that is not that pricey you normally know from Avantgarde Acoustic. They say to me the retail price in future for Europe is around about 15 grand for two satellites and a woofer. And in my opinion, that's really great. And then I just walked a little bit around and I went to the press center and there I met Claudia Katzner. Yeah, finally, it's Sunday, obviously. Four days of high-end here in Munich are over, sadly, because it was a really great time. And Thank you. Yeah, now I have Claudia Katzner from the High-End Society here. And maybe yeah, a few words, the, your thoughts about the high-end this year, please. Yes, uh, it was a really great show. We are very satisfied. We are uh, happy that it was such a great show. And our exhibitors uh, liked it. They uh, had so many visitors at their booths and their stands and the halls and the atriums. It was really crowded yeah, today. Absolutely. Yes. Yesterday, obviously. Saturday yeah, yesterday was, it was really, come on. really uh, crowded everywhere. And uh, also, the journalists, 500 German journalists from all over the world oh, came really? here. So it's really great. Yeah, cool. So we are looking forward to next year, because you know, after the high end is before the high end. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, finally, this was my coverage of the high-end 2023. 
Yeah, four long days full of high-end music and great people. So a lovely time. I will come back in 2024, absolutely. And yeah, thanks for watching. Thumbs up or leave a comment, please. And maybe check one of my last videos out. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Bye.